Hey, Kurt. I hope you guys are doing well in Arizona and it's not too hot there. Just wanted to make this video to go over what we've been talking about with your swing and the changes you've been making. Uh, we're addressing your miss of a pull and pull draw. And then lately you said you had a few weak right shots and a few thin shots. So all these adjustments we're doing are minor things. Your swing is awesome. But I think we can improve upon a few things to get you to hit it a little higher with the longer irons and then maybe get a little more distance out of your driver. I think Henrik Stenson and Adam Scott are good swing models for you. So I have some examples we're going to go through uh, to kind of explain the changes that I've been asking you to make. So first of all, if we looked at setup, you can see how Henrik is more stacked, his upper body over his lower body, and how you have a spine tilt to the right a little bit. So when we had you set up more stacked, you could see how strong your grip was. So I think you were tilting back in an effort to try and open up the face at setup a little bit. So I want to see that left grip a little bit weaker, real similar to what Henrik's doing here. And I think that's going to help solve a majority of the issues. If we go through swing sequence here, we've also been working on your takeaway of getting the club up a little faster so you feel like you're lifting on the grip end, pushing it up a little bit more, and then opening the face just a little bit more. So you can see a little different shoulder position from Henrik compared to your shoulder here, but that's just minor thing. You do a great job getting it to the top. That top of the swing position is absolute money. So then if we look on the downswing, here's where we see a few little differences. So if I look at Henrik's left wrist, you can see how it is pretty flat here. And it kind of matches up with the face angle of the club. And if we look at your wrist, we can see how your left wrist is bowed and that club head is turned down a little bit. So I think that's another spot of where you're getting the pulls a little bit. And I'll give you another example. If we look at Adam Scott, you can see how his left wrist is pretty flat there. And we look again at your wrist. So to give you a little better understanding of what's happening there, I made this video explaining the forces a little bit. So you're in a real similar position to, I, to what I am here with the left wrist bowed. So if I was to turn and look at the club, you can see how it's a forward press position. So you're pushing your hands forward at that point. And we talked a little bit about releasing the club and how you felt like you're holding on a little bit. And this is where we're seeing that. So if I held the club straight up and I pushed my hands forward, you see how that face wants to open up when I do that. So in order to fix that, you have to twist the grip a little bit closed. So that's what's producing those lower iron shots, and maybe a little lower driver shots of what we're seeing. So also, when you push your hands forward, it makes it harder to get down towards the ball. You're not releasing it out. So guys who push their hands forward, you'll see have a lot of excess side bend in their swing. So looking at like a Dustin Johnson or a John Rahm, like they're having to side tilt excessively to get down to the ball. So that you're not excessively side tilting. So that's where I think your thin shot's coming from. And then that pushing the hands forward, opening the face, that's where some of your weak right shots are coming from. So if 
you were to have a little bit more of a neutral wrist coming down through the grip change and then through not pushing your hands forward, you get it more into that position like Adam Scott or Henrik Stenson. So if I turned and looked at the club there, you can see how it is more between my arms. That's definitely a position I want to see you in. So from there, you're going to be able to release the club more. So you're going to feel like that club head's pitching out a lot more. And then you're also going to feel like you can pull on the butt end of the grip in towards you as well. So that's going to help get that club head releasing, hitting a higher iron shots, higher drives, longer drives. I mean, swing looks awesome. Keep up the great work. We're going to get you into the Masters. I'll be ready to caddy. Let me know if you have any questions. Hope to see you soon, buddy. Bye.